So I've got the M4 Mark Mini here, and I'll be showing you how to connect your hard drive. Okay, so if you have one of these older hard drives with a type A connector, how do you connect this hard drive to the M4 Mark Mini to access files and folders in there? So since the M4 Mark Mini does not have full size USB ports, it only has these two type C ports and three Thunderbolt ports at the back, if I can show you, this one's right here, there's no full size USB port. So that means you do need an adapter and you need an adapter like this one, which is a type C to female type A. So this is where you plug in the hard drive and then you can plug it into the M4 Mark Mini using this connector here. Now there are plenty of adapters you can use. You don't have to use this specific one. You can have one with a cable, which is still type C and female type A for connecting the hard drive. Or if you have a hub that you use with your M4 Mark Mini, which I very uh, strongly recommend uh, because this offers a lot of peripherals that you can connect to this uh, M4 Mark Mini. You can actually plug in to the back of the M4 Mark Mini. Then you have two USB ports type A where you can connect things like hard drives, uh, wireless keyboards and mice, the receivers. You have a uh, micro SD card and full size SD card. You have other type C peripherals. You have HDMI. It's, it's a very useful dongle. And of course it has a type C connector that goes into the M4 Mark Mini. So you can use any adapter you want. I'll link uh, most of them down in the description. Anyway, so once you identify the adapter you want to use, just connect the hard drive to the adapter like that, and then the adapter into the M4 Mark Mini. Now I'm just gonna use the ports at the front, but of course, if you want to use this on a more permanent basis, maybe you want to use this hard drive to add some storage to your M4 Mark Mini, then you can connect it uh, to the back of uh, the M4 Mark Mini to one of the Thunderbolt ports there. Anyway, once you connect, you can see they've already been detected by my M4 Mark Mini, and all I have to do now is I can access, so my hard drive has two partitions and that's why you can see two partitions here and I can access the files and folders in there. Simple as that. So that is basically how you connect using a dongle in case you don't have the modern SSDs that have a type C connector. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you found this useful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, possibly even subscribe for more tips. I'll really appreciate that. And Good luck.